Two developments on the election tonight. Late today, the Senate Intelligence Committee announced its own investigation of Russian interference with the U.S. election. Many Democrats believe that Russian hacking cost Hillary Clinton the presidency. Separately, the, many Democrats also blame FBI Director James Comey for reopening an investigation of Hillary Clinton's emails just 10 days before the election. Today, congressional Democrats let loose on Comey, and here's Nancy Cordes. The FBI director has no credibility. Democrats stormed out of a briefing on Russian hacking, furious with one of the briefers, FBI director James Comey. My confidence in the FBI director's ability to lead this agency has been shaken. The closed-door briefing for all House members was confidential, but multiple lawmakers tell CBS News that the former chair of the Democratic National Committee, Congresswoman Debbie Wasserman Schultz, asked Comey repeatedly why he never called her personally to inform her that the DNC's servers may have been breached by the Russians. Comey balked, eventually admitting, no, we didn't. Georgia Congressman Hank Johnson. There was some heat. There was some heat. The FBI and President-elect Trump have suggested the DNC was lax and uncooperative. They did a very poor job. But DNC officials tell CBS News that from September of 2015 until April of 2016, the only person the FBI spoke to at the DNC was an outside vendor who provided IT services. Hackers began posting the stolen emails online in June. The unguarded exchanges cost Wasserman Schultz her chairmanship. Clinton campaign chair John Podesta's emails were posted three months later. I don't see this president-elect as a legitimate president. Georgia congressman and civil rights icon John Lewis made that startling statement to NBC. I think the Russians participated in helping this man get elected, mm -hmm. and they helped destroy the candidacy of Hillary Clinton. He and at least seven other Democrats have announced they will boycott next Friday's inauguration. One of them is Arizona's Raul Grijalva. I will be in home in Arizona. Democrats accused Comey today of a double standard, speaking publicly about the Clinton investigation pre-election, even as he stayed mum about Russia's attempts to help Donald Trump. But, Scott, they've been reluctant to call on Comey to step down for fear of who Mr. Trump might choose. To replace him. And the White House said today the president does not believe that Comey was attempting to influence the election. Nancy Cordes for us on Capitol Hill. Nance, thank you.